in this video I'm continuing uh, to do uh, one more or two more examples on writing equation of a line from two given points you've got two points uh, and you want to find the equation of this line okay so as I have discussed in the previous videos you know the equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus mx plus c okay so in other some other books you can have ax plus b okay where the the coefficient of x thus m is the gradient the coefficient of x whichever formula you use this is the coefficient of x is always the gradient and this is your y intercept so before uh, finding the gradient and the y intercept you can make a guess of what the gradient would be so looking at this line i can say that the gradient i'll write in short grad has to be positive okay because from left to right it's going up now i can also make a guess that the y intercept has to be three point something because it is between three and four so you can say your grade your c should be between four and three Okay, these are the two judgments that I can make. Okay, and I can always check what my, if my answer is making sense based on these two facts. So first, let us find the gradient. Or M is the gradient, which is rise over run. So to find the rise over run, or the rise and the run, we have to join this by right angle triangle. So let me join this. So this is the horizontal, which is called the run, and this is the vertical distance. So in other words, you're joining these two points by two distances. Okay, you can call this is the horizontal distance between these two points, and this is the vertical distance. So the horizontal distance is referred as your run. And in when calculating run, you see whether it's you're going to the right or left. So in this case, you're going to the right, so the run is positive. So here, this point, this is minus 9. And, uh, okay, so this point is, if you want to write the coordinate of this point, this is minus 9, comma, this is 3. So this is minus 9, comma, 3. And this point is two, minus 2, comma, 2. So the run is from minus 9 to minus 2 which is a run of 7 the rise is the rise from 3 again the rise is positive because it is going up so the rise is from 3 to 2 which is a rise of 5 so the gradient m is rise over run which is 5 over 7 okay so let me use a calculator but i'm going to use 5 over 7 just to 5 divided by 7 is 0 0.71 I'm not going to we can use this but I want an exact answer so I'll write 5 over 7 which is roughly 0 point, uh, 0 0.71 okay which is 0 0.71 dot 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 okay but I'm going to use 5 over 7 in my further calculations Okay, the next is you want to find the y-intercept, so you again write the equation. The equation is y is equal to mx plus c, so m, m is 5 over 7, so I can write this as 5x over 7 plus c. Okay, now we want to find the c for which you have to substitute either one of these two points. So I can say, well, when x is when x is you can take either of these points so let me take this point when x is negative 2 i know y is 2 on this line so i can put y as 2 and x as negative 2 in this equation so i want to be exact as possible so what will happen so this is 2 is equal to phi times negative 2 over 7 plus c okay so this becomes 2 is equal to 
negative 10 over 7 plus C. So I want to get rid of this negative 10 over 7, so I have to add plus 10 over 7 to this side. So I have to also add 10 over 7 to this side. So this will get cancelled. So C is nothing but 2 plus 10 over 7. This implies C is, now 10 is how much over 7? So you can say, well, that is 14 over 7 is 2 plus 10 over 7, which implies C is 24 over 7. So 7 goes in 24 3 times, and uh, 3 is the remainder. Okay, so this is your C, oops, your C is 3, 4, 3, 7, to be exact. Okay, we'll find the decimal value later on. So this is, so the equation of the line is y is equal to 5x over 7 plus 24 over 7. Okay, now if you want to write this as a decimal form, so y is, we already know this is 0.71x plus 24 over 7, 24 divided by 7 is 3.43 in 2dp, 3.43. So this is 3.43 in 2dp. So this is in 2dp. So let's check this on a calculator. So we'll have to type in the exact value to get the... Uh, let me bring this up. Okay, so I'm going to graph and type in the equation was 5x divided by 7 plus 24 divided by 7. Oh, sorry, 24 divided by 7, just like that. And change, make the scale 10 by 10 to 10, standard scale, yeah and then graph this. Okay, now I want to confirm when x is negative 9, y should be y should be 3. So g solve y calc when x is negative 9, what's y? So you confirm that. You can confirm g solve again y calc when x is minus 2, y is y is 2. Okay. This is your y-intercept, which can be done like this. Again, g sol y-intercept, which is 3.43. Okay, that's what we got. Okay, so let us do one more question. Yeah, you have got this, these two points, and you want to write the equation of this line. So again, the same way, join to find the gradient. I'll do this faster. I hope you can... So let me join this with the right angle triangle. So this is your run, which is negative, and your rise is positive. Okay, so let's write the rise. The rise is negative because you're going down. Okay, and your run is positive because you're going to the right. So the run, you have to look at your x, sorry, you have to look at your x value so the x is from minus sorry i'm getting confused for your rise oops for your rise you have to look at your uh, okay let us count the square so from this is four and this is minus four so the rise is minus eight here okay uh, for rise, you have to look at your y value. Okay, that means you're going from 4, you're going from 4 to negative, which is a rise of negative 8. The run is positive. The run is from 6, minus 6 to 4. Minus 6 to 4. 6 to 0 is a run of 6. The run is 10. So your m is rise over run rise over run, which is minus 8 over 10, so it's a neat number, which is minus 0 0.8, okay? So you can write y is equal to minus 0 0.8x plus c. 
I can put either one of these points. So let me take, let me put this point in the equation. So I can say when x is equal to 4, y is equal to negative 4. So I'm going to put this in this equation. So minus 4 is equal to minus 0 0.8 times 4. Yes, plus c. So minus 4 is equal to this is this is 8 times 4 is 32 so this is minus 3.2 plus c so adding 3.2 on this side to get rid of this minus 3.2 i have to add 3.2 on this side okay so what happens c is equal to uh, minus 0 0.8 okay so the gradient and the intercept are the same okay and it does make sense if you look at the intercept it's between 0 and 1 okay so the, but we'll check this on a calculator so the equation is y is equal to minus 0 0.8 x minus 0 0.8 does the negative gradient make sense if you look at the line from left to right again it's going down so the gradient is negative so the equation does make sense okay so let us uh, confirm this on calculator so let me delete this and the equation that we got was 0 point minus 0 0.8 x so minus 0 0.8 x minus 0 0.8 and then draw it okay so that you can confirm this let me scroll this up bring my back my calculator and I want to check these two points so again GSOL y calc when x is negative 6 when x is negative 6 y is 4 okay and again x calc i'm sorry y calc when y x is 4 y is negative 4 and then you can confirm your y intercept which is 0 negative 0 0.8 so we have checked uh, all our answers and we should be proud and happy and so that you can give yourself three stars See you in the next video.